Traditional clinical trials are like a challenging obstacle course. First, phase one trials involving healthy volunteers determine if a medicine is safe and what is the most appropriate dose. Next, phase two trials with up to 100 patients assess the medicine's efficacy and tolerability in the actual disease. Finally, large phase three trials involving up to thousands of patients confirm that the new medicine is not only consistently safe and effective, but also better than the current standard of care. Recent advances in our understanding of disease are making this paradigm less and less viable. Let's look, for example, at cancer. The phase 1-2-3 approach works well to test a medicine for a certain disease, for example, lung cancer. It still works when things get a little more specific, as in non-small cell lung cancer. Today, however, we know that what we call lung cancer is actually a group of hundreds of different entities, each one caused by one or more specific genetic mutations in the affected cells. New cancer medicines are developed to target specifically such mutations or their consequences. This means not only potentially hundreds of different clinical trials to test drugs against every type of cancer, but also an increasing challenge to identify the relatively small groups of patients with each specific mutation. Two innovations in clinical trial design are helping to bring medicines to patients faster and more effectively in this new environment, the umbrella trial and the bucket trial. In an umbrella trial, patients with a specific type of cancer, for example, those with lung cancer, are treated based on the mutation most prominent in their tumor with one of a number of different medicines that target this specific mutation. Like the many spokes of an umbrella, Umbrella trials have many patient groups, or arms, making them quite complex to manage and evaluate. However, umbrella trials allow researchers to test a number of different medicines in patients with the same disease family and identify those who respond best to a specific therapy. A bucket trial is the opposite. One medicine that targets a specific mutation is tested in many different types of diseases, for example, different cancers, like skin, bowel, and lung cancer, that all contain the mutation in question. Using this approach, it is possible to combine what would have been multiple phase one and two trials into a single study, while also understanding the differences between different types of cancer. Another important innovation is adaptive study design. In traditional clinical studies, groups of patients receive a predetermined therapy for a fixed period of time. Using an adaptive design, on the other hand, researchers can see how patients involved in the study are doing while it is still running and can change various aspects of the study's design on the fly or even react to new research insights that emerge during the course of the study. New clinical study designs and protocols like these help to transform advances in cancer research into improved options for patients as fast and as effectively as possible.